What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, Cups of Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading um, for the collective. Um, I received a channel message in. I wasn't going to do another one today, but I'm going to do it because I received a channel message in. I'm in a funky position right now because I got my kitty cat on my lap. He went missing for a couple days, and um, my daughter put some signs up, and um, a neighbor helped, helped us find him. So um, he got into some scuffles with, I think, neighborhood animals, and so he's been very clingy lately. So... Please excuse that. But, um, so yeah. So anyways, we're back. So I wasn't going to do this one, but it's, it's a really great one. Just saying, just saying, it's a really great one. So, okay. So the channel message I received was hashtag beast mode about to go full force. That's what I heard. And that's all I heard. So you plug it in, how that resonates, hashtag beast mode about to go full force. So, whoever that is for, man, that's freaking fantastical, whoever that's for. Um, hashtag beast mode. Go with your bad self. Whoever you are and however that applies. Um, I feel this is in a positive aspect. I don't feel you're going to be mowing people down um, to get what you want. I don't feel you're going to physically beat anybody down. Um, I feel it's positive energy, positive personal power energy. Um, I I just did the sign readings from Oracle card readings for May of 2022. There's a lot of exercising energy in a lot of those signs. So for some, it could be exercising. For some, it could be um, business connections or collaborations. For some, it could be romantical connections or collaborations. Um, for some, it could be school because I was pulling some school energy in and um, some of the signs as well. So whatever resonates for you, however, you're going to go hashtag beast mode. Um, I feel it's personal power energy and I'm just being for real, for real. So congrats. Just saying, just saying, just saying, just saying. I love hashtag beast mode, personal power energy. I feel everybody needs a lot of that. Just for real, for real. So whoever you are and how that applies, you go with your bad self. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So, I feel guided to get an animal spirit, actually. Yeah. I do. Okay. Let's see what time it is. I gotta watch my time. Okay. I hope everybody is doing well today. If you think anyone else could benefit from my channel or these messages, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos on your social media and word of mouth, I very much appreciate it. It helps get the uh, channel out and the word out. Uh, helps support a single mama and two kids, one of her income streams. So I very much appreciate it, you guys. Spirit messages you have for the question. Hashtag beast mode, man. I'm feeling exercising, I'm feeling working, I'm feeling business collaborations, I'm feeling school, I'm feeling, you know, school education, I'm feeling personal power energy, and I am just being serious. Okay. Thought spirit, think on your feet. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. Um, okay. Heard one more. And I've had a lot of speeding up energy in the collective in my readings the last couple days, too. Um, things are about to speed up for some of you guys in a fast way. I feel a positive way for a lot of you guys, but some, some, some of this stuff is still criminal stuff in here, too. So it really could go um, either way, positive or negative. Think on your feet. Life is speeding up. Be at home. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. I heard take all of them. Okay. So for some, you could be a fire sign, an earth sign, or an air sign. You really could be any sign. You can be any sign. But we have um, fire sign, double earth sign, and air sign energy out here. So I feel for a lot of you guys, you're 
an Aries, Leo, Sag, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, whoever you are and how this applies in one's life. Um, I really, really do. Let's see. Let me see if I hear anything. Number 27, 2, 68, or 41 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 27, 2, 68, or 41. It can be ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 27, 2, 68, 41. Things are about to speed up for many, 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 many. Negative energy clearing for a lot. Okay, I heard things are speeding up for many and negative energy is clearing for a lot. And sex magic has backfired where it needs to backfire and soon two souls are going to be very, very, very connected to one another, very sexually attracted to each other and other and intellectually attracted to each other. The way it should be. Oh, okay. So dear God, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, this is freaking beautiful, man. So it sounds like two souls are about to come together. I heard intellectually and um, sexually. So, I mean, they're attracted to each other or they will be attracted to each other, you know, in the sex department. But sex is completely different than love. Lust is completely different than love. But it might turn into love. Um, we have the love is all around card. Um, however, that resonates. Or they, these people might already have feelings for each other and it turns into love. However, that resonates. Um, but it's two people, it sounds like, about to come together, hurt intellectually and sexually. Um, so I think they have those two in things in common. And then once they start communicating or being around each other, it might turn into love. Um, and I think things are going to speed up for them. Um, this is, I, and think on their feet, think on your feet. I think they're not expecting this, but it's going to happen. Some kind of sex magic has been put out in the universe, and I've been pulling that into my readings too. Some kind of sex magic has been put out in the universe, but it's currently in the process of backfiring. And I'm just being for real. It's currently in the process of, of backfiring. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Um, so I, I think that's good for whoever this is for, what, what I'm saying, because I heard energy is basically negative energy is clearing out. Someone was putting sex magic either on you or somebody you're connected to. And I strongly feel you're either a fire sign, an earth sign, or an air sign they were putting sex magic on. But it's backfiring onto them. So it's energetically boomeranging back onto them. So it's leaving you free and clear, whoever you are. Strongly feel you're a fire sign, an earth sign, or an air sign. So it's going to leave you free and clear to pursue your dreams, to pursue your goals, whether it's education, exercising, um, continuing education, um, workspace, uh, business, uh, love, um, investments, traveling, whatever it is, um, is what I'm feeling here. Um, and they're going to have to be left with their negative consequences of whatever the backfiring of the sex magic is. Um, one, one of yesterday's readings, um, one of the negative repercussions of the backfiring of the sex magic, what I was pulling in was somebody's having severe sexual intimacy problems. So I'm feeling like ED or if it's a female, maybe dry or um, not able to uh, or not interested in romance or sex or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Not interested in their partner or partners, if they have a partner or partner. Uh, for males, I feel it's, you know, like ED or something like that. Um, and I'm not trying to be crass, but I'm, I'm just being pro for real. Um, or it could be all these children popping up around the universe. 
um, because a particular masculine energy, a warlock specifically, I heard, is having all kinds of children just magically pop up in the universe. Um, some currently in utero, some already out in the universe. So, you know, back, uh, black magic backfires in many, many, many different ways. In this form, it's sex magic. So, you know, intimacy, intimacy problems and children popping up magically all over the universe for a very sexually addicted warlock would make sense. Um, but whoever you are in this category, you are not that person. I think it might have, that person might have put it on you or put it on somebody you're connected to. But it sounds like you're free and clear of the energy. You're free and clear of the energy. And you're free and clear to go and do what you do, um, whatever it is, and hashtag beast mode energy. Um, that's freaking fantastical, man. Just saying, just saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's really beautiful. I know one of my goals is um, losing 20 pounds. I want to lose 20 pounds within a month. That's my goal for summertime um, because I'm 20 pounds over what I want to be. And that's just the truth. Um, so that's one of my goals. And I have other, many other goals in life too. Many, many, many other goals. Renovating my home, um, financial goals, things like that. But that's definitely one of my goals for sure. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. Let me get an energy. You are about to get stuff for behind the scenes in a huge, huge, huge way. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Heard you're about to get stood up behind the scenes for in a huge, huge, huge way. So whoever that particular message applies for, um, sounds like somebody is on your side. Um, like they're batting for you behind the scenes, whoever this person is and however they apply. I heard someone's about to... Um, Stand up for you behind the scenes in a huge way. Number 26 could be a very significant number in one's life. Um, I think it's about to cause hostility. So that somebody's about to stand up for you behind the scenes in a huge way. Or they're angry because of the way you've been treated. How that resonates. It's either going to cause hostilities behind the scenes when they stand up for you. Or they're angry as hell because they realize you've been treated really, really, really shitty. How that resonates. They know the abuse you've had to tolerate, and they are pissed, pissed, pissed off. They are about to go full force. And it's going to be very effective. Holy crap. Wow, well, this is beautiful. I heard they know the abuse you've had to tolerate, and they're basically about to go full, full, full force. Um, uh, and it's going to be very effective. So... In this aspect, hostilities is them being very angry because they know the abuse you had to tolerate. Uh, it sounds like past energy you had to tolerate this abuse. I feel for whoever I'm speaking to here, you had the sex magic put on you. I feel, um, and it might be that warlock that's got everybody and their mama pregnant out in the universe for some of you guys. And I'm serious about that. Um, or somebody else that put sex magic on you. But um, I feel it's the same for a lot of you guys, it's the same person that puts sex magic on you or people that put sex magic on you. But they know, whoever's about to stand up for you behind the scenes, they know the it was abuse. It was abuse. They know it was abuse. And they're about to stand up for you. I heard it's going to be very, very, very effective. So in this aspect, it's angry energy because they know what you had to endure. And it was not pretty by any shape, form, or fashion. And they know this. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this might, this person that's about to stand up for you behind the scenes, this might be a person that um, you end up that is intellectually and sexually compatible with you, possibly, for some of you guys. Um, and, you know, being like, we talk about twin flames and um, things like that in here. 
with twin flames and or even not a twin flame, just a compatible partner, you want to be compatible sexually, physically, mentally. Um, all you want to have all the check marks for your partner is what I'm saying. Um, for your compatible partner, you, I would hope anybody would want that for their partner to be compatible with them. You want them to be sexually attracted to you, physically attracted to you, uh, physically active in the same level they are, um, mentally on the same wavelength. Um, good sex. I mean, absolutely. Who doesn't want that? And that's just the truth. Woman holding a heart. Number 44 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 44, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number 44, woman holding, woman holding a heart. This person about to stand up for you knows you have a lot of love to share, and you do. You have shared it with many, 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 many people in a positive sense, not a slutty sense. Oh, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God, I heard it in a positive sense, not a slutty sense. So it might be a femme energy about to stand up for you behind the scenes or masculine that's in his emotions. Because, you know, everybody takes all masculine and femme energies. So it could be a masculine energy about to stand up for you behind the scenes or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A feminine energy about to stand up for you behind the scenes or masculine taking on heavy femme. Because we have the woman holding the heart. Um, but I heard they they know you have a lot of love to give because you've given it to a lot, a lot, a lot of people. It sounds like previously in the energetic space. But in a copacetic manner, not a slutty sense. So... You're not physically giving out your love, like prostitution or sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Um, I feel it's copacetic love into the universe. Is what I'm feeling. And I feel it's either a feminine energy about to stand up for you or a masculine that's in his feels um, that, and is emotional about you. However, that applies in one's life. Spirit messages you have so, uh, for the like this. I heard in a positive sense, not a slutty sense. So <laughs> you plug it in, how it resonates. <coughs> Contract reverse. Angel of strain. Number six or 50 could be very significant numbers in one's life. And someone's about to expose corruption in a company in a huge, huge, huge way. Someone they would have never expected to do it. Oh, my Lord. I heard someone's about to expose corruption in a huge, huge, huge way in a company. Someone they would have never expected to do it. So this could be you about to expose corruption in a company in a huge, huge, huge way. Or someone connected to you. But somebody's about to expose some. They know about some corruption in a company. And it sounds like some big boy corruption, not, you know, small corruption. I mean, any corruption is bad, but... You know, this doesn't sound like it's a little thing. This sounds like a big boy thing. Um, this could be you about to expose this corruption or someone you're connected to, but whoever you are about to expose this corruption, it's, I don't think anybody expected you to expose it. I'll tell you that because that's what I heard from spiritual downloads. So you plug it in how it resonates. I think you're about to have um, Angel of Strength to expose this corruption. Um, and then we have Contract Reverse. So um, maybe... Um, you didn't get a contract or someone didn't get a contract that they were supposed to get, or, um, maybe this, uh, corruption in this company is withholding money from people where they're not, where they're not supposed to be withholding money from people. Um, maybe they're stealing people's money. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, big boy corruption in a company. That's what I think. I think this company is stealing um, employee or employee's money or someone in the company is stealing employee or employee's money because uh, we have contract reverse. I think you know this. I mean, whatever you know, only you know what you know, not anybody else. But 
you definitely know about some ex, uh, corruption in a company, I'll tell you that. And nobody's expecting you to expose it, and you're about to do it. And you're about to have a lot of strength to do it. For some, you could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo or just taking on Leo energy to do it because strength energy is Leo energy. If you have Leo in your chart, you have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Midham, or Jupiter chart. So if that resonates for you, um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, hashtag beast mode. And that the person that's about to expose his corruption in his company, I think that's how you're about to go hashtag beast mode. Because there's a lot of different things in here. There's somebody about to, two souls about to connect. I think on a, on a soul level. I think on a soul level. And I think it's possible twin flame energy. I didn't hear twin flame. But it possibly could be. If it's not a twin flame, it's just someone they that is compatible in every single check checkbox and they can grow and build together to become like a power couple and a healthy copacetic couple. Um, twin flames can be toxic. So, I mean, and that's just the truth. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a twin. It can just be someone they start caring about and then they choose to make that their person in life. Um, because they know that person feels the same way they do and they are very compatible with them just like this other person and they agree together to build and grow a life together. Um, how that resonates. So we have two people about to connect on a soul level. We have um, workspace energy in here. We have uh, someone about to expose corruption in a company. Um, what else do we have in here? There's a little bit of everything in here. You, um, a lot of hashtag beast mode energy, whatever you're hashtag beast moding on, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys, we're done. Um, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.